Okay, hello everyone. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Connor Dysor and I'm the coordinating officer for presidential relations for this current year. Um, and my term's gonna be coming to an end rather quickly. Um, and Terrence is going to be um, taking my place. So Terrence, if you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Hi, I'm totally Terrence, and I will be the coordinating officer for residential relations during the 2017-2018 academic year. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so you're going to be seeing a lot of him next year, um, but I'm going to be here to get everyone through NACUR. Um, so I, I called this chat um, specifically so that I can really try to prepare y'all for the conference. It's a totally different conference than any of our regional conferences if you've never been to a NACUR conference. Um, so it's really something different. Um, and it's also different if you've never been as an RAJ president um, because corporate info session, corporate boardroom, all of that stuff is just very different than going through a NACUR conference as a delegate. Um, so I want to make sure that you are all as prepared as you can be. Um, and really quickly, I believe all of you have participated in chats in some way before, but I really want to um, quickly go through chat etiquette real quick, just in case we have a new president here. Um, and chat etiquette, it's really simple. Just always make sure that you're on mute if you're not talking. Um, put an X in the chat in order to speak. It's kind of like raising your hand. Um, so it's really simple. Just put an X in the chat. Um, follow along in the minutes. So I've posted the minutes to the group me. Um, if you cannot access the minutes, please let me know via the chat and I will make sure to get you access for the minutes. Um, but you can follow along with that. And then always, if you're gonna know that you're gonna be missing a chat, always send a proxy um, and notify the notify Terrence um, if you won't be able to make a chat. Um, so that way he knows not to expect you. Um, that's always just like, good etiquette to let the person know that you won't be able to make the chat and if you're sending a proxy or not so they know if they should expect someone from your school or not. Um, so moving right on into old business, um, real quick, I have the link for the president, RHA president contact info update form. If you have not filled out that form yet, I need you to go ahead and click on that link and do that really quickly. Um, because we cannot start sending out official communications and emails and things. Um, to the new listserv until we have it updated. Um, so we're trying to get all of the newly elected RHA presidents um, email and addresses and telephone numbers and everything and make sure everyone's added to the group me's. Um, so please, if you have not filled out that form yet, go ahead and do it. If you're unsure if you filled it out or not, um, ask me, I can let you know at the end of the chat um, if you've done it or not. Um, new business. So I've how I've run my chats this year is I've broken up my chats uh, new business into different subsections. Um, that's how I choose to organize them. Terrence might very well um, organize his chats in a totally different way. Um, but I have mine organized into subsections. So the first thing is RBD updates. And so basically what the regional board of directors has been doing is just preparing for NACUR. Uh, we're, we have a lot of um, annual reports and corporate reports to fill out and just things to wrap up the year with. Um, and then also transitioning in the new board members. So that's been taking a lot of time as well. Um, so we've really just been working on those things. We also have a host site for regional leadership conference this coming fall. Um, it's at University of Central Arkansas. So that's going to be really exciting. So we've been working with them, um, trying to make sure that they're able to put on the best conference they can. Um, and then, um, are there, is there anything, any questions that y'all have concerning the regional board? Um, anything that you'd like me to take back to regional board members? Now is your time. If you do, just go ahead and put an X um, in the chat. If you're unsure of what the regional board of directors is, also put an X in the chat, and I can totally explain more about that. But again, I think all of y'all are pretty kind of old hand at this. Cool. Um, okay, so NACUR updates. This is the big section. Um, and I've basically just taken this from the NCC chat last week. Um, so you're getting the same information as your NCC, Scott. I just want to make sure that you all are aware of all of this. So that way you can be helping your NCC um, if 
you know, um, it always helps to have more people know the schedule, know where to be and when to be and that sort of stuff. So that way, you know it, you don't always have to ask them. Um, so make sure that, you know, all of this is in the minutes. Um, you know, write this stuff down, refer back to the minutes um, if you have questions about things, um, because this is what the NCCs have as well. So as far as um, conference prep goes, the conference website is just conference.nacur.org. The conference website, if you have not visited it yet, is one of the most helpful resources for you during conference time. And that's true for any conference. Um, so always check out the conference website, make yourself familiar with it. It'll have schedules, it'll have um, reminders and updates and all sorts of helpful information. So make sure that you definitely visit that website. As far as the schedule goes, on Friday, um, 7 a.m. starts the check-in, and it's going to be at Hillenbrand Hall Atrium. Um, and so that's where, more likely than not, just your NCC um, and your advisor will go to check in your delegation. Um, then later that night, around 5 or 6.30 p.m., we'll definitely get um, y'all more definite times um, on Friday. Um, we're going to have a regional breakout, and you need to be present at this um, because we're going to be going over important stuff at the regional breakout. Um, so just make sure that, you know, y'all aren't just getting to the campus then. If you know that you're going to be arriving late, a plane gets delayed, um, there's traffic on the way, something like that, always be in communication with myself or with Kaisha um, and let us know if you're going to be running late or if you're delayed or anything like that. 8 p.m. that night is when opening ceremonies start, and then at 10, there's entertainment, socials, and hospitality. Be on the lookout for an RHA president social. I believe that it'll be happening on Friday, um, but it could be Saturday. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but me and my counterparts in the other regions, um, we're going to be putting together an RHA president social, and there's going to be, you know, certain things happening there, and we're going to have regional time to be able to have more of a bonding time as a region's RHA presidents, but then also a time to be able to get to meet other RHA presidents from other regions, uh, which is always really exciting. So make sure that you're looking out for the RHA president social and attending that. Um, so Saturday, 7 a.m. is when breakfast starts, and then corporate info session starts at 8 a.m. Um, all of you are very welcome to be at corporate info session. Um, RHA presidents are not recognized on the NACUR level for things, so you won't get a placard. There isn't a special RHA president's boardroom like there is at regional conferences. But I strongly encourage that all of you attend the corporate info session and the corporate business session um, because it is important things. It's um, kind of the business boardroom of what's going on in NACUR. And so to be well-informed, um, presidents on the regional level, you should also know what's going on and what's happening on the NACUR level. Um, so I really do strongly encourage you to attend at least part of that. If you have to leave early because you're presenting a program or there's a particular program that you really want to attend, I definitely understand that. Um, but you sh I really encourage you all to attend the corporate info session and the corporate business session. Um, so the difference between what those are, because I know that's a lot of new terms and a lot of new words, um, corporate info session is basically, that's what happens on Saturday, and it's basically um, presentations and updates from NACUR. Um, so the NACUR executives will give um, presentations and updates, um, the regions will give updates, um, our corporate office gives updates, our corporate partner, OCM, on campus marketing will be able to give updates. Um, so it's a lot of good um, time to be able to see where is NACUR right now and where do we see ourselves as a whole corporation going in the future. Um, so yes, that's definitely a good thing to attend. And corporate um, business session is more like boardroom. That's whenever we go over legislation and all that type of stuff. Um, but in order to attend corporate business, you have to attend corporate info session. So that's where it's, you should be attending both. Um, corporate info session on Saturday and then corporate business on Sunday. Um, and both of those, I mean, it's just an experience like no other. Um, there's really no way to describe what corporate business is like because if you've ever been in boardroom before at a regional level, it's like that, but like a hundred times bigger just because all of NACUR is there. Um, so it's pretty massive. 
Um, so after corporate info session on Saturday, that ends at noon, um, we have lunch from 1 to 2 p.m. and then programs from 2 to 5 p.m. And I want to point out that at 2 p.m. there's the NACUR program of the year winner. So um, each of the regions, there's an award bid called program of the year. Um, so each of the eight regions has one program that they have designated as their regional program of the year. Um, and our program of the year is actually from Texas Tech University. Um, it's a safety program with um, the blue lights that they have at Texas Tech. It was a really wonderful program. Um, but each of the eight regions has one of those. They were all submitted to the NACUR level. And then the NACUR executives um, pick, or it was actually at the semi-annual um, business conference, whenever all of the directorships from the eight regions picked one um, program of the year. And so that's supposedly the best program of all of NACUR. Um, those are always, I've gone to a couple of those now. Um, they really are fantastic programs to bring back onto your campus. They're tried and true programs that really do a great job at building community. Um, so if there's a program that you're wanting to attend to be able to bring back to your campus, I highly suggest that one at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Um, it's gonna be a great program for you. Um, 5 to 6.30 is again another regional breakout and we will be doing um, some business at these regional breakouts. So do make sure that you are attending the regional breakouts, your delegation isn't going somewhere else. They are very important to attend. Um, 8 p.m. Saturday night is whenever we're doing roll call. Roll call is a little different than at the regional level. So in Swicker, we have a very unique tradition where each delegation does a live roll call. Um, that's not the case at all of um, the regions. In fact, a lot of other regions, you just submit videos and then the videos play and everyone watches them. Um, it takes about maybe like 30 minutes to an hour and then roll call's done. Um, that's more how it's done on NACUR. Um, but instead of each, institution having a video, it's each region plays a video, which is why we asked all of you to submit um, 10 to 15 second video clips. We're putting them all together. We're going to have a dance. We're going to teach you the dance. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, but that's what's going to be Saturday night and then entertainment after that. Sunday is the last day of the conference. Um, again, 7 a.m. breakfast, 8 to 12 is corporate business session. Um, 1 to 2 p.m. lunch. 2 to 3 are the top 50 programs of the conference. Three to four, um, there is a special session on how to host a conference, which is really important because we do not have anyone who um, has put in a bid to host our regional business conference for 2018. So if there's any inkling at all in your mind about interested in hosting a conference, whether it's for regional business um, for 2018 or even later, please definitely attend that. Um, Regional breakout again that night, then dinner and the closing ceremonies. And swap shop will happen on Sunday as well. Um, dress code. So the cosplay days, um, Friday is astronauts versus aliens. Saturday is regional spirit. And we're gonna be wearing our regional shirts that we're gonna be getting in the spirit packs. If you did not purchase a spirit pack, you can just wear some sort of regional shirt. Um, if you don't have any regional shirts, wear, a school, wear one of your institution shirts. That's fine. Um, Sunday is space in the movies. And Sunday night is banquet attire. Um, and for Sunday morning, as a special note, um, for corporate business session, you need to be wearing business casual or business professional. So make sure that you're packing at least business casual clothes for that. Um, and you can change out of them once corporate um, business session is over on Sunday. Um, but just make sure that you're wearing, you're not wearing your costume, you're not wearing your cosplay or whatever, um, that you are wearing business attire. To prepare for corporate, there's an, uh, web, another website. It's just corporate.nacur.org. It's not live yet, um, but we'll let you know whenever you can access that. Again, another very helpful website to go through. There's some legislation that we're going to be discussing and voting on. And again, the NCCs are the ones who speak and who vote on things. Um, but I definitely want you all to be there, to be present, to be talking with your NCCs about the legislation, because it's very important NACUR level legislation that gets talked about and passed at the annual conference. A couple of years ago, I think it was my first um, NACUR business session, 
there was a very long, very heated debate about increasing um, affiliation costs. And I remember the conversation was very heated because smaller schools did not want to increase the cost at all um, because they have smaller budgets that could be very detrimental to their attendance at conferences and even their affiliation with NACUR. Um, so it was, it was just a very um, heated debate over a very important topic and a very um, important issue for NACUR. So those types of conversations are really great to be present for and to be hearing the debate, hearing all the different sides, talking about it with your NCC to make sure that your institution is voting in the best way that you can. Um, so I really want you all to be prepared for that. Um, I talked about a lot of that. Um, regional breakout, everyone must attend. So that means everyone in your delegation as well. Um, your whole delegation should be attending, not just president NCC. Um, this will be every day of the conference right before a mass gathering event. And Sunday is our recognition ceremony. So the dress code is your banquet attire, um, since we'll be going to banquet right after the recognition ceremony. Um, so just be prepared for all of that. Okay. Questions about Nakur. Anything and everything that you might have going on in your mind about Nakur, about the conference itself, what to expect. This will be my fourth one, so I can probably help prepare you for that. Okay, yes, Joseph. Um, corporate info is not like business casual, right? It's just whatever we're wearing on Friday? Correct. Or not Friday, Saturday. Yes, on Saturday, um, it's whatever. So that should be the regional um, attire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh huh. Um, Lexi. Um, for corporate um, info and corporate business, is our entire delegation invited, or just the presidents and NCCs? <sighs> so I would say anyone can attend, but I would really limit it to your NCC, yourself as a president and your NRHH representative. Um, everyone else should be attending programs and just participating in the conference as normal because that's what they're there for. Um, whereas y'all are there to be more. Um, in the past though, if you have, like let's say you're the outgoing president and there's the incoming president, y'all could both be in the business sessions together. Um, if you have, if your NCC has an NCC in training or an NCC IT, that person's definitely welcome as well. Um, we're not going to be like checking people's names and like saying, no, you can't be here. Um, but the primary reason for just your other delegates attending the conference is to actually participate with the programs and everything. So I would just let them participate in the programs and have kind of only the necessary people in the business sessions and in the info sessions that you need. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, Tristan. For corporate um, business, are NCCs allowed to yield their speaking rights to the presidents? I believe so, Kaisha. Can NCCs yield speaking rights? Sorry, can you repeat that? During um, corporate business, can NCCs yield speaking rights to presidents? Yes, they can. Thank you. Yep. Um, and I definitely encourage y'all, like, just like I would in, uh, in a regional boardroom, like, encourage your NCC to yield the speaking rights to you if you have something to say. Or a question to ask. All right, any other questions? Yes, Lexi. Um, do you know if we will be staying in the same room as people in our delegation? Um, so with that, um, it's not necessarily guaranteed that you'll be with someone of the same delegation, but definitely of the same region. And Kaisha, if you have any more to add to that. She might, okay. Um, yes, you'll most likely be with your delegation unless you have an odd number. Um, so I think almost every NACUR that I've attended, I've been with someone from my delegation. Um, but if you're not, like if you have an odd number, someone has to be with someone else, it'll be someone within the region. Um, 
So yeah. Any other questions about the conference? Or about your role at the conference? Anything like that? Okay, if you think of anything, definitely put an X in the chat. Um, we have open forum at the end. So if you think of things, definitely hold on to it for the end. Um, if you've been an RHA president before, you've definitely heard this kind of spiel from me. I give this little spiel every time that I do a prep chat for conferences. Um, so your role as an RHA president at conference. Um, I like to say that your role as an RHA president at a conference is very different than your role normally. Um, so normally on your campus, you are the RHA president. You are the top dog, the person in charge. Everyone comes to you. You make the final decisions on things. You are in the know on everything. You make the calls. Um, at a conference, that should look different. Um, at a conference, your NCC should be kind of the top dog at that point. Um, they should be the ones kind of making the final decisions, directing the delegation on where to go and what to do. Um, they should be the ones where when people have questions, they go to the NCC. And your role as an RHA president should be to support them in doing that. Um, I like to say as an RHA president at a conference, like, I'd say throughout the year, your job as an RHA president is to train your exec board, to build them, to support them in whatever their duties are. Um, and at a conference, that means that you should be taking a backseat to the um, and that um, you should really kind of let them find that, like, either, you know, sink or swim, kind of. Um, they've been preparing for the conference. They know what they're doing. Um, they've been either they were in NCC in training and they've been working with the outgoing NCC or um, they're returning NCC. They've been preparing for this. So it's your turn to say, okay, I trust you. You've got this. Um, it never fails. I've been involved with RHA and with McCurr for four years now. In every single conference, I always see um, cases where RHA presidents and NCCs are fighting because the RHA president is overstepping boundaries and telling the NCC what to do at the conference and the NCC feels like they're not being, they're not able to just do their job, which is to run the delegation at the conference. And so there's always these arguments and fights between exec board members um, and it really shouldn't happen. So as an RHA president, I really implore you um, at conference, really take a step back and just watch your NCC do what they do best, which is represent your institution to the region, to NACUR, um, and lead your delegation. Um, that should be a moment of pride for you. It shouldn't be a moment where you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as an RHA president. Um, so that's one little nugget of wisdom. Um, my second one is for NACUR specifically. Um, a lot of you, you have all newly elected boards, and this is kind of your first moment as a board um, where you're going to a conference, you're representing your institution, and you're doing RHA stuff. Um, NACUR is very special. You get to really bond as a group together. You get to really solidify yourself as a team. Um, you get to see how each other work. Um, so that way you know, oh, so-and-so, um, has this sort of leadership style. So I, as an RHA president, need to make sure that I'm helping them in this particular way or that I'm challenging them to do this thing instead. Maybe they're bad at time management. They wake up late each morning, something like that. I need to be a little more on top of them whenever it comes to time management. Um, so throughout the conference, notice your team. Notice how they're bonding. Notice where there's some areas where there's kind of you know rough edges. Um, and be talking with your advisor about things that you're noticing. Uh, maybe jot them down, write them down, to kind of go over with your advisor later. Um, this is a very important moment for you all because it's kind of that first step. Um, you might have some returning board members who've been to conferences before, who've been to NACUR before, and then brand new ones where this is your first conference ever. Um, or maybe your first conference as an exec board member. 
Um, those are important dynamics to be able to kind of notice and see what the group dynamics are going to be for the rest of the year. Um, if you need help with all of that, if, if you see something that kind of makes you step back and say, oh, what's going on here? Um, always feel free to reach out to myself um, and then also to your advisor. You know, I am here for you as a support during the conference. Um, I want to be able to make sure that this is a wonderful, positive conference and experience for you and that it's energizing, that you feel like, yes, this is great. I am so ready to tackle this year. We're going to do such an amazing job as a board together. I love being an RHA. I want to make sure you have that experience. Um, so always feel free to come to me, talk to me, vent to me. If you're getting upset about something, let me know. I'm here to help you with that. Okay. So those are my two little nuggets of wisdom. I hope that you appreciate them. Um, okay. As far as resources go, I've linked the president's resource folder there. Um, so throughout this whole past year, I've had a Google Drive folder that I put all of my RHA president stuff in and it was shared with all of the RHA presidents. So if you have an RHA president account, like for instance, I know Texas A&M has a generic RHA president's account. That folder, you might still have access to it. Um, but if you don't, if it's a personal account, so I shared it with the outgoing RHA president and you don't have access to it, I know Terrence will be putting together some sort of folder for RHA presidents for next year. Um, so that resource folder will continue and will grow and will build. Um, so all of that is there for you. Also, um, my counterpart in the Midwest, Holly, she worked really hard this semester and created an occur wide resource library. So that way you not only know what resources you have as an RHA president in Swicker, but you know all what all of our resources are for NCCs, for um, NRHH chapters, for everything. And then not only for Swicker, but for all seven of the other regions in Nakur, and then Nakur as a corporation, what resources they have. So there's this whole resource library. It's immense, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, I love it. Um, that will be coming to you all very soon. Um, as far as conference updates, I see that Lorenzo is here. Lorenzo, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, maybe. Hi. Hey, guys. So, um, if you guys haven't met me, my name is Lorenzo. I am a host at the University of Central Arkansas, and I am your conference chair for the Spokane Leadership Conference um, this year. And um, only update I have for you guys right now is be looking forward to regional breakout. Uh, we have some huge announcements and huge reveals that will be happening about the camp conference that we're super excited to show you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and Lorenzo is an RHA president as well, so he's one of you guys. Um, all right. So no upcoming dates and deadlines, just get ready for Nakur. Um, and that's really all I have. So now we're gonna be an open forum. So this is an opportunity for you if you have any questions about anything that I've said, um, or any questions in general for other presidents about other topics that we haven't talked about, just completely open. This is a time for you all. Um, so yeah, if you have something to ask or something to say, go ahead and put an X in the chat. Yeah, Lexi. Okay, this is a silly question. Um, we are making 200 pins. Do you think that that's enough or should we make more? Um, how many people are in your delegation? Four. Okay, so that's 50 per. Um, I would say it's a good starting amount. And if you feel, if anyone in your delegation feels like they're gonna, they're like really into trading pins and that they're gonna wanna trade more, then just let them make their own. Um, what our delegation has done in the past is we've brought our clothes pin making equipment like crafts and stuff with us in a suitcase. 
Um, so as we ran out of pens, we could create more. Um, but know that if you're flying, there's, you know, you have limits on space and things. Um, so be, lim be cognizant of that and that you will be limited. But whenever I tell you that there are going to be thousands of people here from hundreds of different universities, like, there's a lot. Um, you can, within the first day, go through 50 pins if you're really into trading clothes pins and stuff like that. Um, so it, I, I honestly, at the end of the day, it comes down to your delegation and how, you know, amped y'all are about trading clothes pins and stuff. Um, but I would say you couldn't go wrong with making more. Um, you'll definitely get rid of it. Thank you so much. Yeah, totally. And yes, there are no silly questions. Um, yeah, Nakar, y'all get ready. This is an experience. It's really, really awesome. All right, anything else? Questions, questions for each other? Anything at all? Yeah, John. Hi. So um, this year, like, as everyone probably knows, like, I've been elected as R2 president. Um, but um, at my institution, what we do, or we have an intern program for, like, students who want to be involved in RHA, but necessarily don't want to do complex council or hall councils. So um, my question for you guys is, like, or would be, are there any other institutions in the region that has an intern program or has like some sort of like intern or like non hall council derived program for people? And if they do like, what exactly do you do with that? Because the way that we functioned this year was that we had um, one intern per each committee and I'll kind of want to stick with that, but deviate from that and create more, um, like general RHA interns as well that help with like, you know, non-committee specific things. Um, yeah, Shauna? Um, well, at our institution, we do actually have, um, we actually implemented it last year because we felt since the NCC um, had an NCC IT, we felt that other um, members of our board should have um, some people to train also. And um, when looking at all the different positions that we had, so we have two vice presidents, vice president of administration and vice president of programming. And we felt that uh, the programming vice president, um, if they had somebody to train, um, that person would really, um, you know, get a handle of everything because uh, with programming, there's so many things that are, that are a part of it. There's so many things that go on to scheduling that. And we felt it was really important for them to have somebody to train. Um, and yeah, they weren't part of um, the people that we interviewed. Uh, we interviewed the whole pool of all of our residents here on campus. And um, one of them was a part of the hall council. One of them actually was, uh, it was her first year at the university and she wasn't part of um, any, any part of housing really. Um, so that's what we have going on. Um, as we go on, we would like to um, expand it more to all of the residents so that it's not just housing people, um, so that more people understand what we are about. Um, but if that helps you out, um, you can definitely, if you don't want them to just be committee members, you can definitely have your, um, I guess, um, executive members have their own ITs like that, so that if somebody is in, uh, interested in a specific role with an RHA executive board, they can also go off of that. So if that helps, I hope that helps. It sounds like a really awesome idea too um, that I don't think is explored at a lot of places because there's a very like traditional RHA structure that I think a lot of places even around Nakur follow. Um, so that's definitely a, a very like out of the box way of doing things and I like that. Um, so thank you for sharing. Um, okay, anything else for open forum?
Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you all for being able to come to my last ever president's chat at COPR. Um, it definitely has been a wonderful time. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all at NACUR. Um, I'll go ahead and stop recording now.